Doesn't really bode well when you run through avoiding most of the enemies, but there is little I can do. I simply don't have the time to fight through everyone, and I would not proceed any further if I did. I want that. I want that a lot. So this is where the situations get kind of cool. You gotta kill enemies when it's all fiery inside. They're getting hurt as well. But so are my pets. In fact, who's the one bringing everything down? Okay, Nitro's dying. Not very credit to team, I'm afraid. Wow, why am I. Why, was I wa why am I walking on the spot here? Doing invisible things in here. Oh, you're doing some not very invisible things there. You're killing me. Yeah, you know what? Let's not die here. Or here. Oh god, that was uh that was pretty horrible. Hello Jones, here's your protection money. Oh well. That was rough. That was pretty rough. Okay, let's go and cheer ourselves up by planting some leeks, because we got destroyed. Try and make ourselves feel better by beating up all the uh, much easier monsters. me here by putting uh, more rubbish in the place I just cleared. That's my fault for not killing it though. Okay. I gotta think how to deal with that fire dungeon because my current uh, my current Marvin here just can't handle it. I need a lot better equipment. For that I need to craft better. Considerably better. Oh, let's do what we can. Firstly, by wondering how you get dry grass in the middle of rain. says 150 viewers. I guess the stream can't have been going that long then. Nah, nobody turns up for Rune Factory, which I think is for the better. I can barely keep up with the chat already. Why, oh why does he not just put in some kind of quick ditch all your lumber thing? They had it sorted in Rune Factory in uh, Harvest Moon Back to Nature. You just chop a stump or a piece of wood and boom, it's added to your inventory. And you're gonna chop it, pick it up, sort it, take it out, and then put it in here. And you can't even pick it up later, which is something you could do in Harvest Moon. So, 371159. I don't think you had the ruby ring equipped that time. No, I did. I did. It was just get destroyed a clock for me in there. So I certainly need some better armor, but I would need some gold for that, so chainmail it is. 
Not sure if I upgraded my chainmail at all. I didn't actually. Should probably see to that. Not that I have the best of upgrade materials for it. Oh, I need to ship that. It's way too uh, difficult for me to work with, though. Okay, what if I... No, that wouldn't help at all. And sadly, I don't have any silver to imbue into it. Well, I can at least get a bit more defense built in with some bronze. Not a lot, but it'll help. Kind of tricky to find things worth putting in on this. Earth Crystal is pretty good. That's a staggering five defense. Hmm. Would the invisible stone make my clothes invisible? And would I get arrested? Difficult to find much that I can actually use and will give me a reasonable amount of defense. I don't get much joy out of the crafting in this game, it must be said. Plus, since I fight with fists, I get ruined since I don't get any defense from the shield. Okay, what can I do here? Or should I just crit the hay? just to bed for us. Oh, it was Arthur's birthday today and I completely neglected him. What a pity. Save and save often. And then try to be stronger tomorrow. Maybe try not to lose uh, a few dozen thousand gold. got princely points and naive blade for nothing. Oh, we'll take good care of naive blade. Oops. All right, eggplants, just what the doctor ordered. And since I'm not very interested in loads of them. There we go. I want carrots as well though, please. That's wonderful. It means we can give Dillis his carrot. I just hope upon hope that those trees don't get torn down or else I'm going to be very, very sad. One of our grass has already been ripped out. One of our strawberries just got ripped out. Our corn. I must protect the corn. Alright, corn's good. seeds to show how good we are. Yeah, I might as well protect the grass. Probably need these seeds later. Otherwise there's nothing I can do but pray that all my strawberries don't get destroyed and none of my trees uh, get destroyed. Well, hello Kara. Always one that shows up for these Rune Factory streams. Who can blame you though? It's a great game. I'd probably tear my hair out if I was watching it. So Lucky, I think, is one of the only animals that's giving us the love heart. Must mean that we have got a great relationship going with them, them and Nephi, it seems. The others still have a way to go. Yeah, it's funny that Kalo actually likes us quite a bit since we shut him away in his own uh, into his own barn. Or maybe that's exactly how he likes it. Ship away what we can, which would be. I guess I should ship away some corn. I need the money, right? Well, we need to ship some carrots. We need to also give one to Dillis. I'll keep one for him. Ship the seeds, they're very important. 
Not those ones, of course. Seems very agreeable. Did I mention there's a lot of inventory management in this game? I think I might have mentioned it once or twice. Once or twice. There we go. Droning and money to the to give to Jones later on. I'm sure he can't wait. And both of these are unshipped. Good morning. I was close, he just about took it out of my hands. Good morning. Okay, better remember that. We need to give Volcan on something good tomorrow. I'd like to give him relax tea. But I highly doubt we'll be able to prepare that for him. Alright, so we finished our uh, request box thing. Good job. So good we get a vest for it. Uh, but we need to give Dills a carrot. If it means more seeds are available, then I'm all the happier for it. I think he's right here admiring the dead dragon. Everyone is. Okay, so he and Jones are in cahoots, clearly. Good morning. I got it. You can't. What is going on? Is that so? The real mystery is why is she not a romance target? Two meters off the ground. Morning. Almost half decent here. Take your cat. At. Thank you. Well, he really did tell us something useful. Dillis told us that the typhoon was coming. It's useful for getting the princely points, but you very often find that you have the mission to give medicinal herbs to people. That was six, I needed eight. Oh no, oh no, I bet my clovers are getting destroyed here. That should be nine. Okay, one clover is down, one leek is down, as long as not all of them die. Well, actually, I need two clovers to survive this. And the defense is diddly squat right here. That's a shame. Oh well. Crush our woes with this hammer. I got nothing against deep dwellers, but Doug is just awful. I mean, of all the native dragons, why would he be fooled into thinking that Venti was the culprit? I mean, you wouldn't even need to convince me that it was Aquarius or Aquaticus or the Aqua guy that did the nasty things, because that guy is a professional cockblock. Venti, she's harmless if a little useless. The situation still isn't great here. I need to get myself stronger in just about every way to go and deal with the upcoming dungeon. Maybe you can help me out. Clearly we don't need more weapons. We're a bit terrible at that. I would love that oven, though. I'll spend that money. Then yeah, we want all the recipe bread you can give us. Mm, I want it, but I'm not sure it'll be all that useful. 
Every day, always buy as many breads as you can. Jake, any chance a typhoon puts out the fire in the fire dungeon? If it does, that's the first I've ever heard of it. I mean, we could always go for another rumble in the fire dungeon. Okay, I have no recipes. Let's take it with us. Arthur, my main man. Welcome. You could sell me some bread. Welcome. No, but you've got rockfish stew, which is pretty rare and difficult to get what you need for. Otherwise, nothing particularly good. Failed dishes, but I could make those easily enough myself. Regrettable. Hope you'll be yes. Let's take this to its new home. And then maybe I can wrap up that uh, physical thing. Yo, Jones. Yeah. Oh, how is it? No. Um. Hmm. Just how much is Jones gonna charge the cow? Yes, thank you very much. Get away from me, Jones. You've had your way with my wallet enough already. Okay. Thank you very much. Is that true? <laughs> Standard fee. Ah, okay. Thanks, I guess. It's cancer. Fortunately, he has an expensive cure. This guy. Okay, still have to give 40 her weeds, and then I guess it's back to Death Dungeon. Thank you very much. I just walked out the door to get this. And my reward is failed dish again. Hello. Hello. Very useful. Uh, as I recall, that's a ranged attack. Shame I don't fight with anything other than my fists. Okay, let's go pay a visit to Death Dungeon, although surely I could spend my money first. Not even giving us a good deal here. Uh, leaks became available, sadly that's no good for us. Shouldn't I have uh, level 2 strawberries? No, I haven't got strawberries shipped yet. I'm in no hurry to level up the rest of my seeds here, though. No hurry at all. No, we shouldn't need any of this unless everything gets ripped up. Welcome. Welcome. And I'm still growing lamp grass, so that's no problem. Okay, good, kind of. That gigantizer still tempts me, but no. Come again. You know. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Come again. Well. Hmm. Yeah, he and his sister both like the sweets, I think. <gasps> Alright, let's go grab two of our most trustworthy animals and go to Death Dungeon. Surely if we just keep throwing our carcass against it, something will stick. Although I don't like how I have a reasonable sum of money. I would rather go in a bit more empty-handed. I 
can't even think what I'd spend my money on. No, this is ridiculous. I will get myself killed, so at the very least I should buy a load of seeds that I'll plant after this typhoon. Something that grows well in summer and makes good money. Corn immediately uh, comes to mind there. Corn. Green peppers are uh, not quite so valuable, I think. Five, five hundred, nine hundred. But corn is good for cooking. It's very good for cooking. Why don't I just buy a ton of them? where I'm going. To replace what gets ripped out. Now, is there any way I can spend 86 gold? I really don't want him getting any of it. That's not looking promising. Okay. Fine by me. Maybe I should bring in some hot milk. Always good for what ails you down in that death dungeon. Alright, uh, Red, you're coming along, and so's Morbug. How are your levels? 46, 42, reasonable health. Red is just a head and shoulder above Morbug, but what do you expect? He's got the sword for a reason. And I really hope my strawberries don't die. Alright, we can do it, maybe. Surprisingly, we don't even hear the theme tune for the dungeon. It's just... Wow, slept through that. Just typhoon all day. Okay. It seems like some kind of invisible wall. Grubs here that would never defeat me. Surviving my like strongest attacks. That sorts them all out. On me, lads. Let's use the first aid spray. And Scorpion Tail, that's pretty good. Poison attack to add to your um, weapons. I want a lot of those. Now what is with this? Invisible path. Oh my god. This seems pretty high on the list of mistakes I've made. Wherever possible, if I'm healing, I want to be able to heal up my horned buddies as well. Get lost. Okay, that was rough, but we're alive. Oh, okay. Just what the doctor ordered. Death from Death Dungeon. <laughs> okay. Well, that was horribly cruel. Now, this is also kind of annoying. Nancy was the one at the clinic, and she doesn't charge you for healing. Dragon bones. I 
should have some toy herb kicking around in the fridge. Let me sort you right out. What a most advantageous death. You'd be right in thinking it was all according to plan. I haven't even shipped oil. Something wrong with me here. Look at that. Would cost me 24 grand to buy. Great defense, great vitality. Nonetheless, it's getting shipped out. Not before me and my little pets here take a bath though, because we got rapid. Oh, oh yeah. For some reason, I don't have the gold. Okay, well, it's not like I needed that bath. Let's just heal up as much as we can. Drink up and get back to it. Now I don't, I know I said I don't really like the summer theme, but it's a bit of a shame when all you hear is the bluster the typhoon reminding me how nature is currently ravaging my crops. Let's go guys. At least we don't have to take the bottom route again even though it's... Uh, oh no. Oh <laughs> not this please. Good thing I've got that dizzy resist. Too, right? Just what it didn't save me there. See how easy it is just to get creamed around here? I just need to knock you down and juggle you for a bit, and you are brown bread. Wouldn't be the case if we had much better equipment. Three guys, come on. Not asking for the world here. over here. Excellent. Get everyone healed up, grab what we can, get our free rune points, and then explore what was over here. Oh, just what I needed. Ass kicking. That as far as it goes? I wonder what is even the point of being here, but it's not a question. Let's just kill and keep moving. Okay, this is what I'm good for. My very own trident. Long spear, some lose memory in shock when stabbed by it. What could it mean? Be an expensive thing to buy. Well, short moment of respite. I have bad feeling about this. If it gives us a save point, it also gives us a way to get back to the start of the level. Let's get our fists and go. Oh. Well, this isn't so bad. It's making me feel pretty smug about having uh, 
that fire ring on though, because otherwise I'd be dead by now. I can't seem to lift these guys up. That is true. It's difficult to be humble when you're as great as I am, so a generous ass kicking from the game now and then will only do me good. Silver is also good though. I'm having that. Now just look at how small our part of the map is here. This is a big dungeon. I don't have to fight things, I will not. However, I think this guy drops that scorpion tail that I was so happy about. So die and take that out for me as well, please. This isn't trouble. This really isn't trouble. Let's just squeeze our way through. You guys take care of Pumpkin Man. Or don't, that's fine too. Although maybe there are people that have played this game that'll tell me, no, no, this dungeon is easy, Jake. Dude, it was both hands died behind my back. Oh, well, that's far from good. die here. I know I don't have a lot of money to lose right now, but still not interested in losing what little I have. I should really stop going dungeon diving without any kind of remedies. Jake, you know this is totally still one of the tutorial dungeons. I know, I beat this game. Whoa. This game beats me back in equal measure. Oh, that's actually a pretty sweet. Light barrier is a fairly awesome bit of magic. Uh, we will replace fireball with it, since I don't use fireball that much. Okay, so it's just in front of us. Oh, we don't even need to be here. Forget this. Say it, but if it weren't for the bugs here, I would be wrong. Also running out of time here for playing about. Oh, okay, we are so very out of here. Thanks for joining me guys, time for you guys to go home. It's time for me to die unless I chew on something antidote-y. Okay, 
doesn't look like everything died here. Our trees are fine, that's the most important thing. However, only two of our lamp grass remain. That is not good. Goodbye trident. And the rest of the stuff. Well, actually fire crystals on... No, it's in there. It's in there. We get to wake up tomorrow and just smell the carnage. Well, save and save often. And go to bread. Latis 3 is saying those trees are a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. Uh, they would get bigger if I used Gigantizer. Oh, I hope it's still... What's his face's birthday? Yes. I should make him something nice. So, okay. One lamp grass survived. I really hope it drops me a seed. Otherwise, it's carnage. Oh, I'm glad I harvested all that corn, because it would be not there anymore. It's a rare case of seeing Kalos, so let's give him a brush. And he looks a bit hot, so let's trim him down a bit. Alright, we've got to clean this up. There is a lot of cleaning work to be done. And the apple tree is almost complete, thank goodness for that. And I can actually start using my trees without feeling bad about it. So you might reasonably ask, why are we even taking care of the animals here? As long as I boost up their affection towards me, they will drop higher quality ingredients. Which is honestly a good reason why I should be giving them items every day. Just something cheap and cheerful, like um, some ore would go a long way. The truth is, I can't be bothered doing that every day. And I'm not going to give them back their own goods, because I need those for cooking or selling. Or cooking and selling. That said, though, there was something I wanted to do, and that was... That was sneeze. I lost it. Now I wanted to find all my weeds that I think I threw in here. And throw it into the fertilizer bin. Not something I use often, but I found a huge stack of weeds, so... May as well. Jake, don't forget about your four patch of summer herbs. Uh, I thought I was using the spring uh, place. Should check on them first though before I start dealing with this. You're not wrong there. Although I also need to check the request box. I'm gonna keep on dying, Venti. One slime, seven medical herbs, rainbow trap. Okay. Well, I can deal with the medical herbs at least, and I think it makes Dillis like me more. Although I'm not sure if that's from doing a request for him or just for giving him an item. That was five. You can check the others whilst we... Oh no! <laughs> I just destroyed a rare, uh, rare weapon box. Damn. Oh well, it happens. And that makes seven. Phew! Not completely destroyed. Only horribly ravaged. The leeks and the clovers live on. Now, FPQC is saying they only play Skyrim with cheats on because they hate the grinding and the leveling and find it all boring. I really see where you're coming from, but I find that playing with cheats really just destroys all motivation to play a game. I'm pretty sure I saw invisible rock there, so having that. So you need to learn some self-control before you get too swole, Jake. Nonsense. I'm sure it had nothing but non-glove items inside that treasure chest. We missed out on nothing. Now it was Dillis that wanted these herbs, right? 
What's he doing in here? And why is Dog also here? Morning. grass just what I always wanted still we're doing all right when it comes to princely points I can actually get some more festivals going like the big catch and the buddy battle that I plan on winning Let's not automatically cancel it. I would like to expand my room as well, though. I have what I need. The farm is not such a big priority, although bigger farm is always bigger money. That I want. Okay, I need 5,000 points. Unifying your tools is really handy. Good maze, Jack. Blew up my weapon box. Thanks for rubbing it in, Keel. I, I want to make uh, Mr. Volcano some ice cream. Sadly, though, I do not have the sweet powder for it, but we have the technology. We can make some. Cramming an apple into a beaker above a Bunsen burner, you make uh, sweet powder, don't you know? And that combined with some milk makes ice cream. Delicious. It's actually worth good money. And a reasonable markup on it. But that's not why we're here. We're here because we just love Volcano. Here you go. Look at him. What a guy. How can you not love Volcano? I just do not know. Good morning. Congratulations. <laughs> good good morning. No. <laughs> it's kinda cute, but I just can't bring myself to like that guy. See I can't even remember his name and I was talking to him five seconds ago. Oh well. It's not glorious, but someone's got to fix all this crap. See, I get that this isn't really very exciting, just clearing up the farm, but the f it gives you a really nice feeling once it's all done, nice and clear. And it wouldn't feel the same way if you could just, at the click of a button, have it all clear. Working towards getting something just makes it feel all that much better. And that doesn't just apply to games, it applies to real life as well. Dozens of sweaty hours piecing together this place I call home. Feels all the better. After I did it. However, that is very exciting. Not in the game, but uh, in real life I'm actually planning on making a trip 
summer just so I can go and chop loads of logs as I enjoy so much. clear or to actually plant loads of crops on it. I feel like making loads of money and skills so I think we will go planting here. The MC is very tired. Oh Callum, you know the farming is going great. So we're getting sweaty here. Might just have to take a quick nap. In the bath. Preferably with Best Girl. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, is she already bathing? No! <laughs> okay. Uh, guess we could settle for. for who exactly? Never. Hello. My arms are getting wet. Oh, brilliant. I need you for one thing, Dulcie. You, me, and Bath. Dulce just watches me. Okay, sadly, Dulcie did not feel like giving me anything, so, uh. Essentially, get out of my face. plant here, but I'll think of something. Actually, what's the growth rate? Growth rate across the board is really good. Hmm. Damn, have I a lot to do with cleaning all this up. Could actually take the whole day yeah. dealing with all my farm and stuff. Hmm. There are a lot fewer things to hammer, so we'll start with that. Oh wow, I planted all those cherry grasses hoping that I could uh, get a big crop of them to use for all my uh, clinical stuff. And five out of eight of them, or was it s six out of eight of them? Five out of eight of them died. Tragic. Typhoons are fairly disruptive, as they are in all Harvest Moon games. It's not so bad in Rune Factory 4 because it gives you all of these bits of lumber and stone, which are normally not so easy to come by. You can, of course, just wait with an untilled uh, farm. Do I look like the kind of guy who's happy to just wait on things? Hope not, because I'm not. Sure. lost some of those because I waited too long. I think the game can only handle, I think, nine items that are just sitting around uncollected. More than that and then we'll just start despawning. Hmm. Not sure whether we can be lucky or not, but the game has actually spawned three large rocks during this time. spawning things, I should probably actually start blowing down my land before this gets out of control. And the fertility of my ground is too small to control. Oh, 
I'm just saying that because we want to give Death Road to Canada a cheeky little spin tonight. How about that at the end of this uh, in-game day? We boot up Death Road to Canada. We'll grab some people from chat and see if we can survive. Exhausting for poor Marvin here. Now we've already been for a bath. I don't want to have to invest in another. We'll do my favourite thing ever, inventory management. Let's see just how much rock and wood we end up with. Given you need these in four digits for some of the bigger expansions. Tons of stuff, but it's really not. You can always survive, Jake. Probably not in your head. Ah, shit. You don't know how good you've got it. I maintain that the fertilizer bin is a waste of time. A whole load of micro help. check on my uh, clover? Surely I did. I wouldn't have not. Besides, it's been pouring with rain. I'm sure they're fine. I still have a lot of repair work to do for my poor field here. I need fodder and why do I have so much pom-pom? Why do I have so much yam? Certainly got a lot of corn. I can plant that another day. I've got ten days worth of food, so I will wait until this is all in sync with each other. Might be a bit, a bit much to ask. The trees are looking good. This should look good soon. Ah. Yeah, you know, everything looks acceptable. Except our character is half dead. I'm being told that uh, mic volume should be raised in relation to the game. It's awfully late to be hearing that. I would have thought to hear that a lot longer ago. But that is easily rectified. A test, a test, a one, two, one, two. Then again, it could also be that we want the microphone just a bit closer to me. Also doable. That's up to you guys to keep me right. I mean, I could run little tests of this myself, but who's got time for that? Okay, I'm just kind of running around with no aim here. What should I be doing? Maybe using my extreme magical abilities to kill everything. No, really, I think Marvin here could be doing with uh, an early night of sleep. Can't think of anything else that he's done today. Okay, slime is easy enough to kill, and I want those princely points. You just got a bit more silent as it were on, Jake. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Hope I can kill you with just this, because I don't have much else to fight with. I am almost out of rune points. Hell, I got 16 of them. Doesn't matter if I get hit a bit here and there. We are, oh, I could just be killing you with these. It's 
like it's really death road to kind of just throw the furniture at the enemy. I think I've had plenty of cursed doll already. It's the strings that I want. Okay, slime, you're in here somewhere. Isn't that slime? Doesn't matter, it's dead now. And Aquamarine, just what I did not need. Oh, I quite like this magic. It just allows me to run through everything. Bowl I'd be after, but it is what it is. Okay, that's plenty. We're gonna call it a day there. There is a long day tomorrow to, uh, well, tomorrow in game to sort out everything else that needs done and more trips down Death Dungeon. Tell you what I didn't do was buy more bread. I was telling myself to do that every day, but hell, I forgot. Okay, we're going to load up some Death Road to Canada. Don't think it'll be a particularly long one, but I want to give it a good shot. So we'll take the stream down for just a wee bit, and we'll be back.